Hey friends! Welcome to my channel. My name is Aldo and for today's tutorial, I am going to show you how I made this beautiful half circle denim skirt with an exposed zipper at the back. So if you want to see how, keep on watching! So for this project, I decided to use a denim fabric. I will have the link to it in the description box below if I can find it. This fabric is a little stretchy. I would say about 25% stretch. This will be much more comfortable and it's not stiff. I don't like stiff denim fabrics. Usually don't buy fabric at this fabric store because their fabrics are a little expensive for my liking. But since I want to try out a different fabric, I decided to buy it anyway so I can uh, feel the fabric and see if it will work for my project. I would say this is a medium weight fabric, so this is perfect for fall and winter. I bought one and one half yards of fabrics, and this is 44 in width. It was a little expensive, it was around $25, but I really needed a denim skirt. That's why it's important to use those coupons, it will save you a ton. So the first thing I did was lay the fabric on the floor. I don't have a bigger table, that's why I always cut on the floor. Look, I will be using the same pattern that I drafted a few years ago. I also used this pattern when I made those half circle skirts and full circle skirt tutorial. If you want to make your own skirt pattern, I'm going to have the link in the description box below or at the end screen. I will cut out two panels of skirt bottoms. I did not add any seam allowances because the pattern has seam allowances already. Although I regretted that I didn't add an extra inch on the hemline, the skirt turned out a little shorter than I would normally make it. I think it's because the nature of the fabric, it is a little thick material, so it doesn't really like sit on the body really close. It's just kind of flare out a little bit. I will do the same thing for the back piece of the skirt. Now it's time to bring down the waistline. So I'm going to be taking out about two and a half inches from the waistline. This is two layers of fabrics, by the way. Now it's time to sew the side seams. I match the side seams first, right sides of the fabrics are facing each other and I'm just going to sew it from here all the way down to the hemline. I'm going to be using my serger for this. Obviously if you don't have a serger, you can just use your sewing machine and then zigzag stitch the raw edge. After I searched the raw edge, I noticed that the white threads are showing, so I decided to reinforce it with a regular stitch using a gray thread this time.
And then I will repeat the same step on the other side seam. Now it's time to make the waistband. Fold it like this into like on the corner to corner. And then I'm just going to cut a bias tape about three and a half inches wide. So I will do three and a half inches wide by 26 inches long. I added extra one inch for the same allowance. After that, I am going to fold it and press it. And then I'm going to sew the side seam. Next, I am going to quarter the waistband and the waistline of the skirt. That will make it easier to match the waistband on the skirt because it has notches and you can evenly distribute the fabric on the band as well. And then I'm going to sew it all the way around using a stretch stitch. And then I will search the raw edges. As you can see, the waistband is super, super pretty. It turned out really well until I tried it on. So the fabric didn't stretch as I thought it would be. I can put it on, but it was a struggle. So I have to do something to rescue this cute skirt. Okay, so the solution to this problem is adding a zipper. But because the skirt is pretty much done, I just can't just put a zipper somewhere, so I decided to put an exposed zipper instead. So I will place the zipper right here and I'm going to measure it and I'm going to mark it how long the zipper is going to be. 
So I mark where I want the zipper to end. Just like you can see it because my hand is blocking the view. I'm sorry about that. And then I'm just going to cut a straight line from here all the way up to the waistband. I drew a line just to make sure that the cut is going to be straight. And then I'm going to carefully cut along the line, making sure that I'm only cutting one layer of fabric. You don't want to cut the front of the skirt. So I folded the raw edges under and then I press it so it will be much easier for me when I sew the zipper on. Then I'm going to slide the zipper in just like this and then pin it to secure. Just be sure that the fabrics are not wrinkling. Make sure that it lays flat on the zipper. I highly recommend that you always base stitch the zipper when you are sewing it because it will save you a lot of pain and agony. Once I reach the zipper pull, I am going to lift up the presser foot and then I'm going to zip up the zipper so it is out of the way. Now all I have to do is unpick the base stitch. I let the fabric drape overnight and then I hem it the next day. So I'm just basically going to serge it. By the way you guys, I absolutely love this fabric. It was very very easy to work with. And then I fold and press it about one half inch. 
and then sew it all the way around and the skirt is done! I really love how this skirt turned out even though I made a mistake. It seems like the exposed zipper is very intentional. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up please. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Thursday. And if you haven't already, follow me on Facebook. So Aldo Official is my account name. I will see you soon. Bye!